Now, other than the classic after the battle publication, the Battle of the Bulge then and now, a good photographic reference to the Battle of the Bulge is this one by Napier, Napier Crookenden, which came out in, in 1980. So it's now a fairly old book, published in 1980. This is Napier Crookenden's Battle of the Bulge, 1944. Good text-wise, but it's a really good photographic reference as well. So we'll take a look through this. It's well worth finding. Got this second-hand car boot sale quite a long time ago. Paid £2 for it, equivalent of about $4, if that. So really good publication for photographs. So we'll take a look through it. So, Battle of the Bulge, 1944, Napier, Napier, Crookenden. So it's all split, different sections. The German plan for the counter-defensive, Allied positions, the weapons, the 6th SS Panzer Army attacks, the northern shoulder holds, 5th Panzer Army destroys US 106th Infantry Division, 5th Panzer Army breaks through the US 28th Division, the Allies react, 1st SS Panzer Division thrust to the west, the battle for Senvith, Battle for Bastogne, the US 3rd Army attack from the south, the Germans drive for the Meuse, the ca Allies counter-attack. So it's all well divided and well illustrated. And that, that's the effect on a Sherman tank from German 88mm shells. So this is a really good cheaper alternative reference book. One of the better ones that's on the market. So that's Napier Crookenden's Battle of the Bulge 1944. More pictures than text but that's not a bad thing. 